Hello everyone, it's Sippy Cup with another look at Starfarer 0.5a. This is the update to uh, the older 0.35 version of the alpha. And uh, when we left off before, I had just a few ships in my fleet, but since then I've been pillaging the galaxy and I've managed to add quite a few really good ships to my fleet. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what I have. So some of them have taken damage since my last battle, but uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit more here than there was before. And now I'm going to be OCD and put everything in a nice order. There. So, as you can see, um, what I have as my flagship is a ship that's in the upper left. This gets just designated as your flagship. Um, this is a battle cruiser. It has a very, very strong point defense system, so it's virtually impervious to fighters and bombers and missiles, which is pretty much why I use it. Just I fly around in it and I don't have to worry about taking damage from any any sources, really, unless uh, a battleship or something gets up in my face. Um, then this is kind of the crown jewel here. Uh, I pretty much went against both factions, the Tritachion and the Hegemony, because I found that it was getting too easy. At one point, I had even more insane ships. Um, I had like three of these battle cruisers and uh, a ton of really good fighters. Oh, I've got another cruiser down here I forgot about. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Onslaught class battleship. It has a ridiculous amount of firepower. Let's take a look real quick and I'll show you. So, here's the uh, fitting screen. You can see just ridiculous number of guns. Every one of these is a hard point. Um, I think if I go here and mouse over, it shows you what they have. Yeah, so two Gauss cannons, some assault guns, flak cannons, LRM launchers, heavy auto cannons, like dual auto cannons. If anything, it's very slow and it's got a ton of armor, but if anything gets remotely close to it, it just shreds them. Um, these are pretty rare, uh, but they are relatively easy to obtain if you use a trick. So these Paragon Elite Battleships are really strong. Um, personally, I like the Onslaughts a little better, but these battleships are pretty cool too. They cost more points as well. So it turns out that in battles uh, where there's control points, which is most battles, uh, if you run into one of these Tritachion fleets that has Paragons in it, and this can apply to really uh, a Paragon, or sorry, a Tritachion fleet of any composition, but if you use light, fast ships to capture all of the control points and force them to retreat, then you have a very high chance of capturing any ships that either retreat or are in reserve. Because the thing is, the, you have a sort of a fixed um, number of fleet points at the beginning of the game, uh, at the beginning of the combat, and you can only get more fleet points to bring in your reinforcements by capturing points. So these Tritachion fleets are flying around with a ton of ships. You know, they might have something like 20 ships, but at the beginning they can only deploy maybe four or five of them. So you get maybe one cruiser out, maybe you know one or two cruisers, and then you get some fighters and fast distri fast uh, frigates, and you just quickly zip around and capture all of the points. And then uh, you may have to take out one ship to force them to retreat. But when they do, you have, as I said, a high chance to capture anything that retreated as well as anything that they didn't even bring out that was in reserve. So if they have like three Paragons in reserve, you may get one or more of them. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, I think same deal with this carrier. Um, it's not it's not very notable except for the fact that uh, it's got strong point defenses and it has three flight decks so it can rearm and reload uh, more fighters at once. So if you have a ton of them in your fleet, fighters that is, then this might be a good thing to put out. Uh, this balance battle cruiser, cruiser is exactly the same as this other one. Um, other things, I think I had the Medusa before and the Aurora before. But uh, anyway, you guys are probably getting bored of hearing me talk, so let me pause for a minute and see if I can't scare up some combat. Well, another thing I wanted to show you before I forget is the way that your crew gets allocated between your ships. This is kind of interesting, and I just realized this recently. Um, just sold a couple of ships here, so let me show you. 
when you go into your fleet tab, well, first let me show you in the cargo. So you've got here's here's my personnel basically. I've got a bunch of green crew. Uh, then I've got regular crew, which you can either purchase or uh, green crew after enough battles becomes regular crew in small increments, and then so on and so forth up to elite. Um, and what this affects is um, your ships get kind of bonuses based on how uh, what percentage of your crew is a certain rank. So if I were to have a ship that was all elite, it would perform uh, much better than a ship with all veteran or all regular or whatever. Um, but you can see here that it basically allocates the the crew from upper left down to lower right. So I had 17 elites and all of those are in here. And the, I believe, 101 veterans are all in this ship as well. Uh, and then it just goes down the line, 282 regulars. You'll notice if I switch this and make this ship my flagship, it allocates all of the elites into here. So it seems like it tries to, uh, this is a way that you can actually prioritize if you've got um, if you've got a bunch of regular crew maybe or you know elite and regular crew and you want to make sure that your AI uh, controlled ships are getting the best possible crews instead of just having this haphazardly arranged you want to try to um, have some strategy as far as which ship do I want to place where in my fleet window here to get the most out of them so that's kind of what I've done um, for the most part here fighters it doesn't really matter it's all just a uh, green and regular crew down at this level um, alright so let me pause again and try to find some fighting okay I found a gigantic hegemony fleet that will probably work nicely and hopefully I won't get totally decimated I did quick save just before so if uh, things go tits up I can always revert back to that so uh, let's check it out. So they have a ton of ships, including some of those Onslaught class battleships, which uh, I got my hands on. Um, but because uh, y y they're only going to be able to deploy some of these at once, basically. I think that they get more deployment of fleet points to deploy with uh, having a larger fleet than me, having a smaller fleet, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So let's see what happens. I'm going to move into engage. I'm going to try holding position. We're both defending. Take personal command. So it only started me with 46 points. That's not great. So I think I want to try to capture these points quickly and uh, bring in reinforcements as fast as possible. So probably. I will start with, let's say, this and this, and that leaves me how much? Not a lot. Maybe I'll leave that out. Take some of these. And then move. Let me think about this. Okay, I ended up deploying with, uh, let's see. I ended up deploying with my onslaught battleship, the battle battle cruiser, which is my flagship, and then a frigate and an interceptor wing. What I'm going to try to do is set my battle cruiser and battleship to go assault the middle point, while I send the close support frigate and the interceptor wing to the sides to support uh, bringing in more stuff. So capture, capture, and then I'm going to set an assault order on the middle and we'll see how this goes. So those things are pretty quick, so they should go capture those points uh, before the enemy can get there, and that would give me plus 20 points that I can use to bring in other stuff. And then if I can take and hold the middle, that will be good. I don't want to get too far ahead of my buddy here. So I'll pause for a moment until the actual fighting starts. Okay, so the enemy has taken the middle point, it looks like. No, I guess they haven't. They just took these two. So it looks like I'm about to get the two side points, though. And now... Okay, so they just brought in another Onslaught battleship and Condor light carrier. And we got the other one, so now we can bring in reinforcements as well. So I think... 
I'm going to bring in another battle cruiser to support the push on mid. And we'll see how this goes. Now one thing is hegemony has a lot of um, armor but not a lot of shields. And energy weapons I believe do better damage against armor than shields so this should work out. On the other hand, the tri tac ships, which these two are, have better shields and armor. And because the enemy is doing a lot of high explosive damage, I'm going to end up taking a lot of damage to my shields quickly. So ooh, they're sending a lot of stuff to the flanks. Alright, I'm going to set my point defense and missile weapons to auto fire here, so that's what's going on with the missiles. A lot of barrages going out from the battle cruiser and the battleships. And it looks like we lost a few ships already. I'm not expecting to win this one because of how big the uh, enemy fleet was, but it'll be fun to try anyway. Got incoming stuff here. Oh, holy crap, that's a lot of bombs. A lot of them. Just need to keep pushing up mid. If we can get that middle point, that's plus 30 fleet points, and then I can bring in some other stuff. Alright, so here goes my battleship. Pretty foolish to get close to that thing. That has gone. Dominated. Alright. See my point defenses just took out a little fighter there. And I got an interceptor wing that's just kind of flying around goofing off down here. Check all those missiles. That is a lot of missiles. Ooh, that noise means there's a lot of missiles coming. <laughs> oh crap, that's a lot. I'll get up here and help him defend some of these missiles with my point defenses. Oh my god! That's a hell of a lot of missiles. Alright, we just took middle. So now, I can call in some reinforcements. Looks like I get, what, 17 points to work with? That's not a lot. So, hmm, I guess I could try, I'm going to try getting these fighter wings here. And then I'll try to, uh, they're going to go back and try to take these back, I think. God, that's a lot of missiles. So many missiles. Uh oh. This thing's about to get its shields overwhelmed. That's bad. It's getting whooped on. It's dead. Hmm, we can call in something else. I can't call in that yet. If something else dies, I can call in my battleship. So many freaking missiles. Shields in a minute here, or I'm not going to be able to 
Shields back up. Oh, we're good. I can pull in something else now. Whew, man, tense. Alright, so you get that. Let's get, get the battleship, and we got two more. Ooh, I guess we only have one of those, and maybe a wolf. Pretty good. Okay, so we hold three points now. This is an improvement. This thing's defenses are killing that destroyer. I really need my uh, capital ships to get up here and help out. You see, my point defenses just kind of have been doing their own thing and holding their own. Alright, so here's where all the missiles are coming from. We have the support cruiser and then two of these battleships up here. So I think we can actually win. I'm actually feeling pretty hopeful now. Well, wow. this is at one range. It's a Gauss, Gauss cannon, I think. Alright, so what I need to do now is set capture orders on these side points. Let's see if I can just force them to retreat. Hopefully. Um, let's see. Can I call in anything else right now? I cannot. So if I can just hold the middle for a bit and buy time for my faster stuff to go capture those points, it might be okay. My heavy fighters. I was just tacky on lands that you saw ripping past there. I'm going to give this thing an order to repair and refit. It needs to get back to a ship and get out of the line of fire. Alright. Bringing my battleship up. There's that tacky on lance again. The tacky on lance is a main gun on this uh, Paragon battleship back here. It's got extremely long range, and it's pretty decent power. It looks like I just got... It must have killed something, because I got more reinforcement points. It looks like they wiped out another one of those fighter wings. Well, let's see. We can bring in... Why don't I bring in my balanced cruiser? I'm losing a lot of ships, but it's not really a huge deal, because... A lot of this is stuff that I can replace anyway. And I could stand to gain a bunch of <laughs> uh, these Onslaught battleships if I win this. I just need my other ships to get up here and start. It looks like they're already trying to retreat. I'm going to go on the offensive now. Let's see. Yeah. We're about to capture that last point once these guys get up there. More missiles incoming. Blocked up with my shields. Tachyon lands is hitting that thing in the back, in the butt, so maybe it'll disable its engines. There actually is module damage. I'm gonna stay out of the way of that thing. Alright, let's see, as we captured that point, this thing is probably gonna die. But I can pull in even more stuff now. I'm bringing my carrier to seal the deal. I can at least 
just get this cruiser out of there. Debating on whether or not I want to actually let them run, because I think if they if they run, then I might have a better chance of capturing them. It looks like they... I can't tell if they're turning around or if this one's just spinning because I disabled the engines. run or should I kill it? I think I'm just going to kill it. They're so slow. Is there even another one? There might even be another one. Did I bring in anything else? I guess I could bring in my destroyer. I should cancel the defend order on this so that... Let's see. I can manually assign them to join in on this. Right, didn't I already oh, set strike order on that? I'm just gonna assign all these guys to join the strike order. disabled his engines, so he's not going anywhere. Just slip in between these wrecks here. It seems to have a tremendous amount of armor, so they take very low damage. They can take a serious pounding. Destroyers surrendered, so I'll board that. One of their interceptor wings is boardable, and another onslaught battleship. Pretty nice. So I'll go ahead and board this one too. Killed 52 Marines taking it over though. And what did I get? Some gauze cannons, a bunch of weapons of various types. Alright. Oh, there you go. That went pretty well. So we can save that game. So here you see uh, crew gained 13,600 experience and then you can see crew members that got advanced to uh, veteran, elite, and regular. Let's check my fleet here. So I lost quite a few ships it looks like. But, wait a minute, what happened? Oh! Rats. I didn't have enough crew. <laughs> I 
I didn't have enough crew to board or to actually fly those other ships so they just were destroyed well that's good uh, whatever <laughs> I made some money and only lost a couple of things so not really a huge deal anyway uh, I guess that'll be it for now until next time